Hello, my most amazing artists. We're so happy to see you again. This week on the Art at Home website, the technique of the week is printmaking. Printmaking. So, Declan and Aubrey and I tried out one of the projects and we want to show you. We also have some jokes and a book where the illustrations are made from printmaking techniques. All right, so first, this is the artwork that we made together. Now, there are different shapes, and the shapes actually came from a toilet paper tube. This is a paper towel tube. Each one would work, and we cut off different parts. So I just cut it into little pieces like this. And the way that we got the different shapes, so we got circle, square, and heart. The circle, we just kept a circle. We dipped the bottom into some liquid paint, and then we pressed it onto the white paper like a stamp. Mom, now, how did oval. we do the, oh, that's this. a, look, she, this was like an oval. You can also make it squeeze the bottom into a little pinch and then the top and then it makes a heart and then you dip that in the paint Mama. and on the paper Mama. and for the and, and square you you think about that when it's your turn you can talk we pinch turn pinch turn pinch turn pinch turn and well this is more of a quadrilateral i wouldn't call it a square but Declan decided, ooh, if you turn it this way, it makes a diamond. Yes, so you can make a lot of different shapes with just a toilet paper tube, cut it, fold it, and then press it in liquid paint, and then you stamp it on the paper. Now, Declan also started to color in some of the shapes. We just have one colored in there, you could do that. You could use this as a background, and then it could be a collage. You could glue down a, your favorite animal picture right in the middle, or a heart. You could even use this as wrapping paper, or you could cut it to make it into a card. Printed paper is so pretty. And then, Aubrey, what did you use to make the border? I made a raindrop. That's a raindrop, that's awesome. And what did you use to make the border? How'd you make these? We used our fingers and put dots around it. Yeah, you just dip your finger in, and it's a fingerprint. Okay, now I also have a couple of prints that I have made. This is a block print where I carved, this is actually my grandpa. Um, I carved pieces out of a linoleum block and then I put ink on it and I pressed it on paper. Okay, and then this is called a copper plate etching that I made and that's a little more advanced. We don't do that in the elementary school, but you carve into a copper plate and you cover it with tar and you dip it in acid and then you press it into paper. It's kind of complicated, but this is one that I made when I was in college. And now we have some jokes for you. So Declan, these are good ones. Take it away. Why did the astronaut leave the crowded room? Why did the astronaut leave the crowded room? I don't know. He needed some Space. Get it? Like, you need space, but it's like outer space. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Alright. How did the fish get to Oh, work? I think that's the one. Oh, yeah. Why are beavers always on the internet? Why are beavers always on the internet? I thought all the students are on the internet for e-learning. Why are beavers on the internet? I don't know. They never log off. I log made a square off. eye. Like I logs, have a square eye. With logs. I love it. Okay, let's do one more. Mom, and I have then a we'll... square eye. That is so silly. A square eye. Okay, go ahead. I think it's on this page. Oh, okay. We did that one. And then the other one is here. Sorry, everyone. We're trying to find. We got this awesome joke book. Okay. I think it's this What line. do cats put in their drinks? What do cats put in their drinks? I, I don't, don't know. know. Mice cubes. Mice cubes? Like ice cubes? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> now, 
Now, before we show you our book, what what are we wearing on our shirts today? Mickey. Aubrey. Disney. Aubrey, show your shirt. Okay, we're all wearing Mickey Mouse because I don't know if you've thought about, you probably are doing this already, but in our house, to mix things up every day, we're having like a theme day. So we take turns, mom, dad, Aubrey, Declan, picking what the theme day is. And Aubrey was the picker and she picked that today is Disney day. So we're just wearing our Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse stuff. And I'm I, kind of and and I know what I'm going to pick. Yeah. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah. If, you never, if you never watched it, that's okay. So. Yeah. What was so yesterday? You know, Yesterday was Superhero Day. Superhero Day. Okay, now the book that has printing in the illustrations is called Swimmy by Leo Leone. You may recognize Leo Leone. That was from A Color of His Own. Same author illustrator, but that those illustrations were made with watercolor technique, and this is watercolor and printing. So you can see these little red fish. They're like printed on the paper. Pretty cool. You can combine techniques. Many artists do that to make their art. All these little fish, it's the same shape that was like a stamp printed all around the paper. Isn't that cool? All right, let's start. Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy school of fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. And there he is, right there. Boop. Whoa. And again, it looks even like in the background of this, the, the water was like printing. Sometimes you can use paper to kind of press down and print to get a cool texture. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. Oh, how terrible. Oh my goodness, poor little Swimmy. Aww. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. And you can tell that this also was made by pressing down something. It's hard to know what it was, but you can kind of see with the texture that something was pressed and lifted up. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. And you can definitely see the shape of those. They're exactly alike, and a print usually is exactly alike because it's using the same shape over and over. Ooh, what do you think he used for these underwater seaweeds? Ooh. What do you think, Declan? Uh, I don't know. I think it's... Like, I think like little stamps. Well, definitely it is kind of a stamp. I'm thinking it's like lace. Okay. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar. Sorry, I can't read that. Sugar candy rocks. Mom, I need a crab. Oh, you know what? Can I show that at the end? Mm -hmm. Thank you. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember... And sea anemone, who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of the rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must Think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. 
in a second. He laughed. Oh, I'm sorry. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place or her own place. <gasps> Ooh. Now, I think, sorry I'm interrupting so much, but I think creating this with printmaking is much easier because you don't have to draw individually all of those little red fish. You can just press them down over and over again. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I will be the eye. And they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and scared and chased the big fish away. Ooh, that was awesome. Love those prints. And another thing that's really fun is you can blow up a balloon, dip it in paint, and you can make little circles. It's really cool. Okay. Oh, bubble wrap. Oh, that's good. Okay. So, you know, Aubrey just loves to always create things. So as we were reading the book, she decided she's going to cut a zigzag and make it into a crown. You could even print this. If you dip this side into the paint, it would make a circle with a dashed line. And do you know what? How I made that? Hmm. I just made. I just flipped it over and made triangles all the sides until I got to the end. Mm -hmm. And I flipped over, and it looked like a crown. So that could be a crown for one of your dolls. But it's very small. Like a like a Barbie. I, yeah, like but it. it's their head. Okay. It was. Oh, oh. God. what? Uh. Oh well, I'm gonna do that. All right, boys and girls, it's so good to see you again this week. The technique of the week is printmaking. Printmaking can be done with a variety of different objects, kind of like a stamp. Check out the technique of the week page. Check out the ideas for projects and send them to, to me on Seesaw. Okay, I love seeing what you make and I love responding to you every day. Do you have anything else you wanna say? No, thank you. Anything you want to say, Aubrey? Mm -mm. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. everybody.